Hello, my name is John Riley with PIC Solutions at Spartan Controls. In this video, we will discuss the procedure on how to place a REMU I.O. channel in a bypass state, and then how to remove it. Please remember that all necessary precautions and safety measures should be taken before attempting this procedure. Only qualified personnel should be performing a channel bypass. Even a qualified technician must continue to be aware of his or her surroundings and monitor the system for any unexpected changes that may require a system shutdown. This is the home screen for the RAM view. We have our main navigational buttons at the bottom of the screen. Now, before we can make any changes to the system, we will need to log in to the RAM view controller. To do this, press login on the bottom right of the screen. Select login from the pop-up menu. In general, the user ID is O for operator. Take care not to press zero. And the password is one. It is recommended that you verify the login credentials for your system as site policies may require a different login. Press OK to proceed. Verify that the login was successful by checking the user status at the top of the screen. This should say user O if the login was successful. Once we have logged in, we can now select the I.O. channel type by pressing end devices at the bottom of the screen. I.O. channel types, digital input, DI, analog input, AI, and thermocouples and RTD can all be bypassed. In this example, we will select DI from the pop-up menu. After selecting our I.O. channel type, we are shown a list of the specific I.O. From here, we need to navigate to the bypass screen. Select bypass at the top of the screen. Leaf through the pages in the drop-down menu until you locate your desired I.O. In this video, we will search for engine oil level, which happens to be on page one of the bypass drop-down menu. To place our I.O. channel in bypass state, we press the green bypass button. If the bypass is successful, you will notice three changes on the screen. One, the green bypass button will change to orange. Two, the bypass counter on the right will increase by one. 3. The bypass timer will start counting down. As you may have noticed, the bypass counter is limited to 4 channels. This means that a maximum of 4 I.O. channels may be bypassed at one time across all I.O. channel types, DI, AI, or TC. The bypass timer below is a 10 minute timer that will reset the bypass state when it expires in case the user forgets. If more time is required, the user must press the restart timer to reset the timer to 10 minutes. Note that selecting or deselecting additional bypass states will not restart the timer automatically. When we no longer need to bypass, we can remove this state by pressing the orange button. You will again notice three changes. The orange bypass button will change back to green. The bypass counter will decrease by one. The bypass timer will either remain running if another channel is still in a bypass state or turn off if no bypass channels remain. Before we turn off the bypass on our engine oil level, we will look at another method to turn off bypass states. On the right is a remove all bypass button which will reset all bypass states. This removes more than one I.O. channel bypass at once. If instead of bypassing a DI I.O. channel, we decide to bypass an AI or TC channel, we will notice a few differences. By pressing end devices and selecting AI, for example, we will see the first screen is different. However, the bypass button on the top right is still the same. If we select page one, for example, we will notice a slight difference. 
but the bypass functions on the right remain the same. Now you may have noticed a manual PID mode if PV bypass button on the bottom right of the bypass screen. This button allows the user to set any associated PIDs to manual mode when bypassing I.O. channels. Manual mode allows the user to make changes to the bypass I.O. channel without having affected the PID. To complete this procedure, it is always good practice to press remove all when finished and check the bypass counter before proceeding to the logout screen. Press login and select logout. 